How to create 8-bit pixel art in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about 8-bit pixel art. So, normally when you think of pixel art, you think Photoshop, right? Because it's actually made out of pixels. It's a raster software. But in an Illustrator, you're going to be dealing with vector, which is shapes, lines, curves, all that kind of stuff. However, you can easily do squares in Illustrator, which would represent pixels. And the cool thing is when you expand it or contract it or whatever, it's never going to lose clarity. It's always going to remain perfectly crisp. So how you would do that is open up a new document that's 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Your RGB mode is usually preferable. If you're going to be doing pixel art, you're usually going to be showing it on a monitor somewhere. Um, and if you, you want to make sure that your ruler is in pixels. So uh, ruler is control R. That's what this uh, edge here is. So control R if you don't see it. And you right click on it, make sure it just says pixels. Um, next thing you'll want to do is come over to your rectangular grid tool. If you don't see it, it's probably a line segment tool and you just click and hold to get this additional menu to pop out. And there's your rectangular grid tool. You will click on that. Um, just click up here in the corner. If, if it says intersect, that's probably the perfect spot. Make it 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Go ahead and add 50 dividers by 50. Now, normally you might think that I should be, you know, dividing this up at one pixel by one pixel, right? But again, we're in Illustrator here and we can do it however we want. Make the size of your pixels anything you want because everything is scalable. I like base 10 solely because with base 10, um, so these are 10 pixels by 10 pixels, each of these squares. With that, you can move around very quickly uh, using shift, which if you hit, if you have an object selected and you press shift and the arrow up, down, left, or right, it will move it in that direction by exactly 10 pixels. So that makes it a little bit easier to move things around quickly and accurately. I'll go ahead and give this a stroke. Let's just say 25% black, something like that. There we go. Now, I ended up making a Captain America 8-bit uh, graphic, and I'll show that to you later on in the video if you stick around. But for now, uh, I'm going to show you uh, just sort of how to copy something. Uh, because what I did is, I ended, for my Captain America, I ended up using a lot of Mega Man and Proto Man and that Nintendo uh, you know, classic style um, of 8-bit graphics. And so let me just show you. Here's Mega Man. Um, what I want to do with this, though, is bring it in to a size that closely matches what I have as best as possible. So as you can see, the pixels aren't aligning, right? I want to get these pixels that are actual squares to align in when, with my grid. So I'm going to have to bring it up just a little bit. Let's see if I bring it over. Um, you know, he's a little bit. Let's see. Should we stretch him out? He's not perfectly uh, aligned to a grid. That's one thing I'm noticing right here in this particular image, which I just pulled off the internet. Um, but we can, if we mess with it, I think we can get it to where he's pretty close. Let's see. That's not quite right. If we shrink him down a little bit, does that help? Eh, it's not quite right either. It's just a little bit off. Maybe he's a little, maybe, ah, there we go. So he was a little bit squished, I think vertically. Um, that's pretty good. Now, it, it, a little bit of overlap right here, but as you can see, um, you can see that well enough to, to be able to pick up on um, where to place your pixels. So what I'm going to do here is create a series of squares. And just real quick, uh, so you know what I'm doing hotkey-wise, I went over here and grabbed the marquee tool. You can press M, make a square, and it's not going to have, it may not have any uh, stroke or fill. If it doesn't, hit D. That will give you the default white fill black stroke. I click, I drag this down holding shift. I'm also going to hold alt to create a copy. So shift and alt, creating copies. All I'm doing this for is to grab uh, the different colors that are inside of Mega Man. I'm going to grab the first square 
and I'm going to hit I to get the eyedropper and go ahead and select the, the blue. I'm going to select this. I just used A to grab this um, other square and then hit I to grab the eyedropper to get the cyan. A again to grab this one. I to grab the skin color and I'll just go ahead and get this black while I'm at it and might as well grab the white just in case I need the white as well. So there you have it. Those are all the colors um, that I'll be using to color in uh, the Mega Man. Now what I want to do with my original here is come under transparency while this is selected. Drop the, oops, drop this down to maybe 40. I think 40 is probably good. Maybe even less 30. Doesn't really matter. But just, no, let's do 40 so I can see that white. It's hard for me to make out the white. Um, now I'm going to hit Control-2 while this is selected to lock it. Oh, I have to be over here. You can't be over here. There we go. Control-2 locked the layer. That means I can't move this Mega Man character around, but I can still affect my grid. Now, with the grid selected, hotkey K, which brings up your live paint options. You should have this paint bucket with a little arrow underneath. Then, while that is selected, hold Alt, which will bring up your eyedropper. And select your blue, and then come in here and just paint by numbers. It's very simple, right? So we'll do this. I'll probably speed up this process. Um, so you're not, you know, you'll see that I'm just going to grab the eyedropper tool, grab this other color, etc., etc., and do it that way. But from here, I'll do it, and then I'll speed it up, and then we'll talk about uh, some other stuff. Okay, I think we're done. Let me go ahead and pull the image that's in the background out over here and increase that opacity back up just to make sure I followed everything correctly. And it looks like I've got all the pixels just right. Uh, oh, I did forget these. Gosh, oh boy, let's go back, hit K, hit I to grab those, and boom, there we go, okay. There's the spot that I forgot. All right, now, well, uh, obviously you can't use this uh, with the grid as it is, so what you can do is come over here to Object, Live Paint, um, Expand, and then just go ahead and ungroup. And I think you have to do it more than once. Yeah, ungroup, ungroup. Let me see if that, yeah, that took the grid out. I can delete the grid now if I want to, and I'm left with my pixel art here, which looks like there's some leftover squares that were meant to be black, blank. Um, there he is. That's uh, Mega Man in pixel art. Looks just like the original here, but cool thing is like I can scale it and make it bigger and it will never pixelate. Um, it's always going to be perfectly uh, pixeled uh, square pixel art. So really cool. Now here's what I ended up making. You, you'll be able to tell that I used some elements of this to make my own Captain America. You see a lot of the hand and feet look the same, whereas I kind of stole from Proto Man Shield and then extended it to give a little bit more of a curve over here and then added the wings on his helmet, the A, and all of that stuff. Made his eyes a little smaller and um, just gave him kind of a cool like face right here. Not much you can do with these pixels, but anyway, I thought he turned out really good. This is the finished product, and this is sort of what it looks like with the grid so you can see how everything uh, split up when I made it. But hey, let me know what you guys think of this tutorial in the comments below. I'd love to see some of your own uh, pixel art. If you've got it, you know, upload it to uh, a server somewhere and then leave a link below. I'll take a look. Um, but other than that, like, subscribe, share. And uh, I'm almost to 2,000 uh, subscribers at this point. I think we're less than 50 away. And I got a fun video um, that's just silly uh, waiting in the wings for when that happens. So help me get to 2,000 quickly, and we'll all get to see the cool video. All right. Later.